What's happening everybody? Welcome back. Um, so, a lot has happened um, since the last video. Um, we have replaced the head gasket in the TD5. Uh, this is the old head gasket. It's, uh, I'm guessing been in there since new. We are now in the process of putting it all back together. Um, we've talked head bolts up um, and that's where we're at in the moment I've been to JSF and bought some more um, little washers and gaskets and bits so we can get some more other bits back together I didn't really find what I was hoping to find um, when I took the head off um, so for those who don't know and haven't watched probably my beginning video I'm getting um, uh, combustion gas, gas in the coolant so my reservoir bottle's bubbling up. I had um, the pipe, uh, this pipe uh, goes here, sort of thing. And you undo the bleed screw and it's just foaming out of there constantly. So I was getting combustion gas in my cooler, which was really annoying because it was so insignificant. It was so insignificant you know, on the basis that the engine ran so well. Um, we first thought, oh, is it an EGR problem? And then we realized we don't have an EGR cooler on this one, this model. It didn't have an EGR cooler. It just has the pipe that comes around for the EGR. Um, so it's not that. Um, so there was any other one thing we could do and that was replace the head gasket. So we have now replaced the head gasket, um, taken the head off, when we took the head off, we noticed that cylinder number one had some, I think it's called water wash or something. So basically there was water getting into cylinder number one, um, uh, we're, but it wasn't getting in there under pressure. So basically what we think was happening was, um, when I turned the vehicle off, water would creep into cylinder one somehow. And then when I turned the vehicle back on, later on, another day, whatever, it would then, I'm guessing as the piston came up, it pushed the water back out the way it came in. So it wasn't causing so much damage as in like, it, like you think it would, but there was water getting into that cylinder somehow. Like a, um, so that's what we think it was the problem. I've spoken to people and um, they have said that that is quite highly likely the issue. So that is obviously a case of right new head gasket. So we put a new head gasket on it now. Um, which is already in. I haven't videoed much of doing that side of things, just purely because um, I, it's my first time ever done. I've never taken an engine apart this extensively before. So I had a lot of people helping me, like giving me advice um, and stuff. So I was trying really hard to concentrate, make sure I didn't miss anything um, and just not mess it up basically. So. I did make a point not to do too much filming or much at all taking it apart and then just purely and putting the head back on just purely because I was just concentrating so much and, and, and listening to what people were telling me and, and stuff I didn't feel like I was confident enough to also get the camera involved and do that but I'm now at the point where the head bolts are now torqued up to the correct torque right <sighs> slight technical difficulty difficulty Right, so um, we're now going to, um, I think I was telling you, these are my head, my, my top cam, my cam chain, that's all locked in place. We're now going to put the chain tensioners on with new washers and, um, and yeah, let's go from there. Let's do it. Right, just uh, install, installing the, the uh, chain tensioner. It's got a new copper washer on it. That goes in down here. I can just see the timing chain getting pulled up. That's now tightened up. We'll do that one up to 25 newton meters. Here comes another Land Rover. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, maybe stand on the bumper next time. Probably not. Anyway, this is Owen. Hello. 
come to help. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, the only thing you have to do, this is my phone, is talk relatively loudly. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, so I am putting this back on, where the oil pisses out, and I'm cleaning it for probably no reason. Because it's going to leak again. Yeah, it'll leak. Yeah. No point cleaning it then. Yeah, but it's quite nice to clean in things, you know. Is it? But then, have you seen all the oil in here? <laughs> I'm going to clean that. Are you? Yeah, I'll show the camera all the oil in there. No, no, you can be my cameraman. <laughs> There's yeah. a fair amount of oil in here. That's going to be back oh, wait, all I'll over stop, that. I'll there stop. we go, there I'll we go. Good idea. It. Good <laughs> idea. I don't even going on yet either. Oh, why are you cleaning it then? Okay, right, follow me. We're oh, going to go, go take here now, under here. Right, you can describe what the issue might be. So, I'm going under to the where the flywheel is <laughs> and take the locking pin out I didn't bring the bolt with me oh. take the locking pin out okay. where's the bolt? it's on the wing oh yeah, okay. hold that <laughs> okay, uh, thanks boom uh, a tank off um, I didn't look on the YouTube video to see what the torque setting was but hey you know. probably be 25 <laughs> I like everything else. <laughs> um, oh, dear me. So we are going to see if this runs like a dog or runs better than before. It well, ran pretty good before. Did it? Because the timing was out. H how far did he get from when we picked it up? It's irrelevant. <laughs> should, we go for, should we go for 25? Talk, talk. It's four, four miles it got before it broke. If that. I mean, we literally, so Blakeney and Langham are next to each other when we got from Blakeney to Langham. <laughs> right, that's on 25 newton meters. I'll probably look later. So we check it. the YouTube video. Pin it out. Cut the emergency cable ties. Uh, do you just have to take the top pin out first? Take top pin out. <laughs> Cut the emergency cable ties. One. Oh my god. Two. That is now under its own steam. Is it? So we're going to do a test run with, with, um, with a big bugger off socket. Are you, you pick the ratchet handle up this time. Yeah. Bloody hell, Gemma's just spent 14 quid. She has, 14.95. Right. I can't see. So basically I'm putting this socket on the bottom crank shaft and we're going to turn the engine over manually to see if we can do full rotation without any dramas. Hopefully. Hopefully. Sounds okay so far. do a load of rotations until that mark comes back up to up. That sounded a bit awkward, that did. That did. Basically, so this could take a minute. No right. right, okay. So we've now got that back, the little notch back to the two links. Um, and I've done, probably, I think, a full rotation of the engine. No knocks, no bangs, didn't bottom out anywhere. <laughs> Can't get the socket off the bottom crank. That that looks like a bit of an uncompromising position there, yeah, Josh. I've got, got a new radiator and I don't want to dent it with my ratchet. Yeah, how clean that is. Apart from the oily bits. Yeah, don't look at that. That's not there. Awesome. Alright, new fuel pressure regulator gasket going on somehow, way or tether. Can't mm. be that way. That way? Getting on. Getting there. What do you reckon the torque setting is for down there? I'm going to go for 25. I reckon it's 25 as well. <laughs> Everything's 25. You've got a little bit of oil on you, those. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the torque print? Oh, there it is. Down there. Right, inlet manifold is now going on. Am I? Ah, 
Oh, what are you meant to get? A 20... Talk... Oh, there's Mount Dummett in front of us. Jesus. <sighs> you got it? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm doing something. Right. Hmm. That's better. Okay, we have inlet manifold is on. Now doing these up. Rocker cover gasket bolts. Because easy. Um, I've also got to connect the um, uh, what's it called coolant up, then refill the coolant. Oh, those two. Just go around, make sure they're tight. Yeah. Nice. All right, that's on. Oh. Cool. Next job. Connect all this up. Great. Right. Just been and pinched this. When I say pinch borrowed. This is a awesome tool. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it. Get rid of that. So this is a really cool thing. Alright, so it has that. And this slides up and down. Alright. Using these. And then you can lock it in. You can lock it in. But the best thing about it is you can basically get a hold of these stupid little crimpy hose crimpy things. Alright, so I can put it in there. Alright. And then I can do that up. So that's now in place on the hose crimpy device. Zoom in. Alright, and I can now tighten it up to a point where the hose <laughs> crimp comes undone not hard look it's all locked in place oh zooms in sorry bad camera skills all good let's put that back down all right now i can move hose along said pipe nice and easily say no dramas it's holding the hose uh, crimp apart let's get a little bit tighter can't get over the flangey bit. There we go. Right, that's now in place. And all I gotta do is press oh, press that and it undoes itself. Nice and easy. Just like that. And that is now in place. Not going anywhere. And there's one more. Okay, so right we're getting there, we're getting there. Now we're on this side of the engine. And I have bought the shits and giggles. New air filter. Right. Let's take that out. Okay. Here we go. When was the last time that was changed? It's got a moth in it. And you yeeked that away. I hope that was the, now I've got the right fit. Oh, yes. I'm putting greasy mitts all over it. Look at that. Nice. Awesome. Let's get that in there. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Stick that back on. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Nice. New effort. Good. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Okay. Let's do that. It's quite satisfying. We've got a man filter. Right. Cover that in oil. Put that back on there. Like so. That looks good. Now, that goes. That's got some because I'm supposed to get on that. Yeah, that looks. That fits better. Wicked. No. There we go. Right, we'll change this while we can. Oil filter. Oil filter. Fill it up. <laughs> no, it's literally going on here. That's why I wanted to do it. Cause it ah. Oh, you can keep that one. Are you sure? Come on. Alright. Place my can at some point. Yeah, yeah. I'll replace you. Yeah, I actually have a Johnny some Like from years ago. Yeah. Wow. A filter. Yeah. I have a little pump handle, little handle pump that I can tuck up and down. Alright. And as I'm tapping up and down, it sucks the fuel through. How tight do you have to do your fuel for it? My hand tight. Hand tight of all? Yeah, hand tight of all. How yeah. tight itself is dry. I think I had one come loose. But... Feel a hole. It'd be for a, um, to hold that in there. Let's go for a Alright everybody, we are there for today, it's late. Engine is pretty much back together. Um super oily. Just got some intake pipes to put back on, radiator hoses. Um and then fill the coolant back up. And then yeah, turn it on. I've given it a test run, you know, like manually, turned the engine over, did loads of rotations almost so the pin was back in line with the two links nothing on towards struck out at me it turned over fine didn't hear any clanking didn't hear any banging didn't any restriction or whatever just the compression of the engine uh, which is good i think um i'm done so uh, Gemma's in the car she's going to go home it's been long all day we have changed rotary filter We've changed oil filter, Lucas Aid, changed head gasket, <laughs> changed head bolts, we've changed air filter, we've changed gaskets as in like so exhaust manifold gasket, inlet manifold gasket, banjo bolt, little uh, copper bottom oil and washers, um, chain tensioner washers, all of that. <laughs> done i was going to put my blanking plate on my egr hose but i couldn't get the bloody thing apart so that's now just gone back together for now and i'll do that another day um yeah it's been a good it's been a good old stint um we should have it back together pretty soon and then i will film the starting but for now thanks for watching guys and uh we will catch you on the next one cheers boys bye